Rafael Nadal's decision on whether he's going to play in Monte Carlo for 2024 seems to be coming close. And it looks to be a no for Rafael Nadal. In his final ever year, or at least it's supposed to be, it looks like another tournament is going to waste for Rafael Nadal as he is truly targeting the Roland Garros as that farewell Grand Slam. Or we'll see if it will be. Maybe not. He might play again after Roland Garros. But regardless, injuries are coming at him at the worst possible time. And there are serious doubts if he will play. And as I said, he probably won't. It's it's hard to see. He's looking to bounce back after a horrible 2023. And he started off pretty well in 2024 at the Brisbane Open. But it's been tough outings for him since. Pulling out from Qatar, from Indian Wells. Didn't even sign up for Miami. He played that Netflix slam against Carlos Alcaraz. He played okay, but it was an exhibition. And the level was not at the highest level you would expect from Nadal. Can he win a 15th Grand Slam or a 15th French Open? I doubt it. If you asked me two years ago, maybe. But he hasn't really proven himself in the past two years to be a serious candidate he needs to at least play one master's tournament before Roland Garros of course he has experience more than any other player on clay courts but you know what he you can't just roll out of bed and win a grand slam another article here Nadal may be sidelined for over a month so that not only rules out Monte Carlo but also rules out Barcelona and perhaps even Madrid. We are waiting on official confirmation for this news. I don't want to come across as trying to be our first to report on this news. This news has been floating around the internet for the past few days and is looking more and more like he won't be playing. It once again opens up the door for other players to take over the mantle of Monte Carlo. As we have seen, Tsitsipas and Rublev win the past three versions of Monte Carlo without Rafael Nadal. Or did he play in 2021? I'm not sure. Regardless, Nadal hasn't played all too often in Monte Carlo in the past few years anyway. So that's not going to be much of a shock to Nadal to not be playing this tournament, which is sad. And here we go. We've got an article here talking about if this is the last season, then Rafael Nadal should play Monte Carlo. A note from a Rafa fan. I'm not sure this is worth reading. It's just talking. It's a bit of a delusional piece to Nadal. If you can't play, you can't play. You can't wish someone to play like an injured man it's not going to help anyone it's quite selfish of the fans to wish that he can play i wish he can play if he's fit if he's not fit he's turning 38 there's no need to play stay fit for the french open and subsequent olympic games and hopefully we see a bit of him this clay season we don't expect to see all of him and we don't really expect him to play every single tournament but we'll see i'm sure he will at least have one moment one moment where he can, and if he can take advantage of that moment, who knows? He might be able to go far in a significant big clay tournament. That is yet to be seen. He hasn't done that in two years now. And just the tweets here. Some rumors are now saying that Rafa Nadal may miss a large portion of the clay season due to a back problem. So another another injury, another muscle group returning in Rome or Roland Garros in the earliest, at the earliest, in six weeks time. Two years back, he didn't play because he had that stress fracture in the rib, which he did come back and win Roland Garros. Last year, he was dealing with that repercussions of the surgery for the hip. However, a private jet was also spotted traveling from Manacor to Monte Carlo yesterday, which may have been suspended and his team but this was about 24 hours ago so i'm not sure that was him maybe it was who knows perhaps he will play but he's leaving it to the final moment and why wouldn't he if he is able to get the treatment required he can do what he wants and this is a more up-to-date tweet latest reports on rafa nadal he is said to have skipped training in the still in manacore so obviously that wasn't his private plan waiting for test results on his back before deciding on monte carlo we assume that he receives the results in the next 24 hours so a lot of information being spread around how do we know he's going to be out for the next month when he hasn't even received those results? How do we know he's waiting for results? Who knows? Perhaps some fake news being spread here. The easiest way, as always, is trying to come to a conclusion based on numerous sources. And there seems to at least be some sort of problem with Rafael Nadal, whether he is going to be out for an extended period or if he's just going to be out for Monte Carlo or if he even plays Monte Carlo. We'll see. We'll see over the next 48 hours or so. That's about it. What is your opinion on Rafael Nadal? How far can he go at the French Open and the upcoming clay tournaments? Personally, he's always a danger at the French Open and you can't say he's not going to reach at least a second week at Roland Garros if he's fit. So we'll see. I hope he can play. I don't know about Monte Carlo, but we'll see. Until next time.